on YouTube, KT93 here with a vlog style video letting you guys know a little bit more news about myself and things that will be relating to the Busker giveaway which has been much anticipated mainly because I've been hyping it up and I haven't really been following through with it but in any case this is the video where I at least talk about it. Um, I tried making this video two times before this actual take and it just ended up being way too long including all the news I wanted to tell you guys and then doing the Busker giveaway at the end. So what I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna do the news section of this video put an annotation at the end of this video leading to the Buster giveaway. So that annotation will appear near the end of this video. But this is more so a news segment. So the first bit of news I wanted to share with you guys is the fact that I hit 10,000 subscribers not too long ago. And when I saw that number on my YouTube channel like that day when I checked it, I was really astounded and really grateful that you know I have such a loyal fan base, I guess if you want to call it, subscriber base, I guess is more appropriate. And I was also very confused, and I was confused because whenever I see a big number like that, that's like, that's cumulative. That's how many subscribers I've gained over however many years I've been on YouTube, which I think is somewhere around 2008 is when I started. So that is when, that's, yeah, that's when I realized that, hey, I've come a very long way from the person I was and the YouTuber that I was way back in 2008 when I made pen spinning tutorials. If you look at those videos now versus the one that I just released a few days ago, you'll notice a huge jump in terms of the quality, the physical quality of the um, tutorial and also a lot of things in terms of, you know, what you guys need to see to learn stuff. I've learned greatly what you guys need and what to put in tutorials so that you guys understand it. I learned a lot about um, camera stuff, videography, color is a big one because um, I have a decent exposure on this uh, video, at least I hope I do. Uh, and those videos had a really bad yellow color cast. It was very grainy because it was a standard definition Canon PowerShot point and shoot digital camera and not a DSLR like I'm using right now that can capture high definition video. So I've come a very long way in terms of the skills and techniques I need to know to perfect the art of you know teaching you guys. And I really do enjoy that. I'm very grateful that I have an audience that watches my videos and learns from it and gives me feedback and letting me know that they actually do learn from my videos. It's really comforting and very, I guess, satisfying to know that these people that are watching my videos are actually learning from you know, what I know. And I like to hand down knowledge like that. And if the, job secure, if the job market for teachers was a little bit more secure and a little bit more high paying, I actually probably would have considered being a teacher, but um, that's not really the situation right now. I'm not bashing on teachers or anything. I think they really do deserve respect, especially um, those maybe in the middle school, high school area where the kids are a little bit more rowdy. But I do give teachers a lot of respect and that's because you know they take the time to help out the world essentially. They're people who create the new minds of tomorrow. So that's really why I do like teaching. I like people learning from what I know. I like being able to spread my knowledge. I don't really keep a lot of stuff to myself if I can help it in terms of knowledge because I like to teach people. I like to see people be able to use that knowledge for their own benefit as well. So that is kind of the philosophy of as to why I create these tutorials. Now recently I've been kind of coming up to a point where I'm being a little bit upset about this because I'm running out of tricks to make and that is a big problem considering that the big thing I do on here is pen spinning tutorials. So at this point the tutorials I just released I feel like these are ones that are kind of filling in the blanks and the gaps that I missed when I went through the first time of making pen spin tutorials. So really how it went is as I was learning the tricks and getting a little bit more proficient at them, I posted tutorials up because I felt like, you know, if I struggle with this trick, other people are too, and they probably want to learn it just like I did. So I decided that I was going to start pen spin tutorials and that's exactly what I did. Now the fact that right now I feel like I've done a lot of tutorials up at this point and I just feel like I've, I've done so many of them that I feel like I've covered a lot of what you guys need. And I did kind of stop pen spinning a little bit as in I wasn't actively going out and searching for tutorials uh, or tricks to learn. I was just more working on creativity, linkages, and combos and freestyles and weren't spammy. Didn't succeed very well at that. But I was kind of using what I had and then just wanted to kind of do my own thing to make my pen spinning a little bit better to refine it a little bit more. But I didn't actually learn really any new tricks after I stopped learning them maybe two years ago, one and a half years ago. So that's kind of the reason why I'm running into a problem here. I really want to make content for you guys, but I'm just simply out of content to make. I have 10, maybe 10 tricks I have on a list on my phone 
and I, I consider this emergency tutorials in case like, I don't, I don't know, those are like my last like 10 that I have in terms of what I can do because at this point, I kind of stopped searching for more tricks to do because I feel like I reached that point in pen spinning where I was really happy with where I was and I would be okay if I just stopped pen spinning that day because I feel like I learned a lot and acquired a lot of knowledge and skills to just be happy with that. Um, so that's pretty much why I kind of slowed down in terms of pen spinning and that's why I'm running into this problem. So those 10, I don't know how long those are gonna last in terms of the tutorials, but a lot of this consists of power tricks so I, it might be a while until I release those because I'm not very proficient in any of those yet. Um, but I do try, I do want to do those in the future. So that is a problem that I'm working on. And I think the one way to solve this is I'm still producing content, but I'm, and I'm going to be doing pen spinning related content, but it's not going to be geared towards exactly the same audience. Very similar, but not quite the same. So if you guys have been following me for a very long while, you guys know that I have a channel called Katrin 93 sm It's the same thing as this channel, but with SM tacked on that. Uh, tech on the end. If you guys are newer to my channel and you guys don't know about, click on my hand here. This will redirect you to my k 93 SM channel. The SM stands for slow motion. Um, a few, I don't know, how, years ago, I guess it was, I got a Kodak ZI8. It could shoot in 720p HD at 60 frames per second. I was really excited to get that camera because that means I can produce high definition video for you guys and be able to slow it down so that you guys could learn better and it would be better as a teaching tool for me. So I was really excited about getting that. The quality was pretty good and I was really happy with that, but it broke. So that led me to get this DSLR that I'm using right now. I'm using a Canon T3i. It has a great sensor, great uh, image quality, and it also shoots in 720p HD at 60 frames per second. And now that I know a lot more about video editing and stuff like that, I can tweak it so that it looks as nice as it can get. And that's why I'm really opening up Kature 93 sm This is supposed to be a channel dedicated to showing you guys just the tricks. No tutorials, it's gonna be completely silent. Very good for me because I don't have any audio to work with. But essentially, it has all the tricks that I know how to do. And I'm going to release them in the way I think you should learn them. So, excuse me. A common question I get is I know these tricks, they list a bunch of tricks, and then they ask, what tricks should I learn next? Well, it's really hard to say and it's really complicated because, excuse me again, I don't really want to take the time to analyze everyone's you know, trick list and just go on and say, okay, you can learn this next. It takes way too much time. I figured just have a, a list of tricks online that you guys can learn from. Now, I guarantee that list won't be a perfect list, but it'll be one I think is more ideal to learn in terms of the pen spinning order. So you guys can just look at my oldest tricks, ones that are currently posted right now on that channel, which are like the fundamentals and some of the reverses. And then from there, when I release a new video, that should be like the next trick you learn if you're like a brand new pen spinner or something like that. So that's how that channel works. So again, if you guys wanna go ahead and see that, uh, click on this hand, k 93 sm The purpose of that channel really is to give you guys just a learning supplement. So some of you guys who just want to see the trick done um, in slow motion, you can go ahead and check, on, uh, check for the video on that channel and it should give it to you just a trick, no tutorial, you don't have to fish through uh, my very, very long tutorials at times uh, to find the slow motion clip. And these will be guaranteed to be better high quality clips because I have a better camera now and it will do a lot more for you guys than watching those slow mos that I posted way back when. So that is the purpose of that channel, to give you guys order of pen spinning uh, to learn in case you guys wanna know that and of course to give you guys a supplement to learn from. Or if you guys are someone who feel like, I don't need tutorial, I just need to see the trick done and then I can learn from there, that's fine too. You can go ahead and just use it to learn from it, just to see what tricks are out there and to see how they're done. And then from there, you can try to learn how to do them. And if you do need help, then you can go to the actual tutorial posted on this channel. So I think I'm gonna be working on that for a while. Also want to talk about other channels, shameless plug to my other channel. Uh, if you want to visit my tech channel, it's called TGI Tech Day, click on this hand. Now what that channel entails is a lot more about the technical side of creating videos just like this one. So if you guys are interested in technology, if you guys are interested in videography and cinematography, things like that, I will be kind of going over a lot of those tips and tricks you need to learn to make your videos look a lot better than what mine were so many years ago and to make it look higher quality just like this one. So that channel, not only that, but it's also gonna show you guys how to become a better and more successful YouTuber, successful or at least for me, means making a little bit of money off of YouTube. So what turned, so it started out as a hobby for me, which was just pen spinning, making tutorials, really turned into something kind of profitable, which is really nice. And in that, on that channel, I'm gonna teach you guys how to do that with my How to Become a Successful YouTuber series. 
and also my how to become a YouTube reviewer series, which is what I do in my spare time as well. It'll teach you guys how to get products from, for free from companies to review and build up an audience for your channel and then just get stuff to test out essentially. No strings attached, only the fact is you have to release a review on your channel. So great video and great content over there. Go ahead and subscribe to, T again, TGI Tech Day for here if you wanna get those kind of videos tech-related videos, reviews on things that you might need or things that you think are cool if you guys are into that. So that's more or less what I've been doing lately and that, those are kind of the problems that I'm facing. Now at this point in the video, I've been talking for at least 10 minutes. So I think it's too long to go ahead and jump into the bus or give away details right now. But like I said, I'm gonna put an annotation on the screen, should be coming up right about now. And it'll say, you know, just click here to go to the bus or giveaway video and that video will be linked to this video. So if you watch this, you'll get to that. Um, so let's go ahead and follow in the instructions I give on there. I don't have all the details yet at this very point. I have most of like 90% of the details down for the giveaway, but I really wanted to uh, perfect that and polish that up because I was stalling the other times when I tried to film it. So go ahead and click on the annotation that's on the screen right now for the Buster giveaway. It'll take you to that. And in that video, I will tell you the details of the Buster giveaway. Uh, so that's pretty much all the news I really had. Again, I'm probably not gonna be releasing another one of these videos for a very long time because I'll be in the spring semester of college. Won't have a lot of time because I'm vowing to really, really crack down if I wasn't already, which I really wasn't. But I'm gonna crack down a lot on my academics. So you're probably not gonna see a lot from me, if anything at all. I'm not even a update from my webcam or my camera in my room. But uh, in case I don't see you guys again after the bus your way, uh, thanks for following, thanks for watching me. I really do appreciate all 10,000, however many it is right now, of you guys. You guys have really helped me throughout the years, really helping me, helping to motivate me to want to do more for you guys. So thanks for watching this video. Go ahead and click on the annotation that should still be up on the screen. And that will take you to the giveaway for the Buster CYL. Are you still watching? Okay, because this is pretty awkward for me too. Just wanted to see if you thought your video froze or if you actually was want to watch want to watch this if I did anything funny. Nope, not anything funny, just me talking, waiting for you to click on that link. Just go ahead and click on it already. What are you waiting for? There's a free pen that costs like 25 US dollars that you can get potentially for free. Go ahead and answer the questions in that video, and then you guys have the chance to win a Buster CYL from Ty Spinner. Are you seriously still here? <sighs> Whatever. Just cut the video. I said cut the video.